Wednesday here at the Cairo Mission trip and it's an exciting day because the energy is starting to build. And the reason why is everybody's getting here. People flying in from all over the world. Uh, we've got a plane coming in with 45 people. They don't even know they're on a plane together and they're coming here to a third world country. So the energy is building and we're so psyched to go pick everybody up. You know, they've just, they're coming from all over the world, they've got their luggage and they're just getting on a bus in a third world country and they're going to go just start helping people and they already know that if there's nothing, nothing is in it for them, it's all about helping people. So this is exciting for me because we've got a great team of people and they're going to do great work. My name is Kate Padfield, I'm 26 years old and I'm from Ohio. I have no expectations except to just have my mind blown. I, I don't have money to give, I don't have things to give, but I have myself to give. I just have so many expectations and yet none at all because I don't, I haven't experienced anything. I know this is the right thing for me. So here we go. Dr. Tony Doremus. I'm from Houston, Texas, about an hour north of Houston. Um, 42 years old, got a, have a beautiful uh, family, two boys, um, ages seven and three. We never step outside of our own comfort zone and own, own lives to do things like this. Uh, but the moment that I arrived and the moment that we, we had a moment, uh, an opportunity to talk last night, uh, I knew that I was here for a reason again. We're going to be with you all the time. We're going to help you. We're going to make to you have fun today, okay? So I want you to get ready. So are you ready? So as you can see behind us, we're be uh, about to begin the waterfall challenge. This is something that we do um, every time we, we visit. This is my third time to actually do it. Um, it, gives, it gives us a chance to, to come together as a team. We don't know each other. Um, you know, as you can see, uh, th these people from all over the world. Um, and so it's, it's gonna give us um, a, an opportunity to come together as a team. Um, you know, and with the waterfall challenge, you can't make mistakes. Uh, if you make a mistake, you will get hurt. The waterfall challenge gives us an, an opportunity to pay attention. In the same respect, when we go out in the field, we need to pay attention. Uh, if we're not doing that, we might miss something. And we might miss an, a very unique opportunity to, to help someone that, that really needs it. Here we go again. It's going to be an awesome weekend. I'll never, I'll never learn.
I just keep being quiet and everyone says, why are you so quiet? I'm like, I'm trying to soak this in. This is amazing. We don't have this in Indiana. Every time that we come, there's donations made by the team of doctors and volunteers uh, paid on their own dime to come down and have also often collected money, which we did, to make a donation. We made a $3,500 donation to the organization that we work with, which is spearheaded by Sor Teodora Quesada. And at this juncture, we've given approximately $50,000 to this organization over the years in a way of saying thank you for helping us to spread the word and do something good for the world. I have this secret title called the Cultural Liaison. And my job is to actually find where there's a need and help to fill it. Our principal contacts are Dr. Lambert Emanuel, who is a Haitian doctor who helps with the bateyes here. We've helped to develop some schools out of that. We pay the salaries of 10 different school teachers in the Haitian villages that are in the Dominican Republic. We also made uh, contact with Pastor Joel Peña, who is a, probably the biggest hearted person I think I will ever meet in my life. And we help those people to improve their lives as much as we possibly can. One of the things that's it's in the, in, at the same time it's rewarding is extremely frustrating is that every step you take in this country you can find enough of a need that it would take you a lifetime to fulfill it. We want to do good for the world so that everybody can have a better place to live and everybody can have a better life to experience. This man just got adjusted by Katali and he says now he feels so good he can do push-ups in the hospital. <laughs> Pastor Joel Peña with his wife has adopted over 30 children that were left abandoned in the streets and we're helping to complete an orphanage for him which is three quarters of the way done. Every penny from that construction coming from Quito Mission and the Dominican Republic and we feel very very excited because for the last next year we're going to finish total complete that project in the Dominican Republic. Now we are in the shopping supermarket, flea supermarket. We buy food for our family 
you know, we uh, make a, like a, a sauce tomato, uh, bean, rye, chicken for each family. So now this is uh, the owner is uh, Fonso. This is a flea market here, Mercado Público de la República Dominicana, from Dominican Republic. So we're gonna make a salami. Salami, this is called salami. This is good for putting the food. And each family gonna have it. oil, rice, bean. One family can get the food for almost 20 day, 25 day. When the, each family, you know, it's eight, seven person in each family, for 20 days they can eat well. They can eat well. I think when you get down to the core values of life, uh, it's not about the things that you have, the toys that you you uh, you get every single week. If if you're lucky enough to get those, um, but it, but it's just about living life and sharing life with other people and loving other people. So this is the house. This one, this one here. This is it. Yeah. It's the first time we get to see it. Hey, hey, aquí. You, you, I don't know. You get, you, I think you get a little numb to what's actually taking place because it's not something that you see where you come from. I think to experience this, uh, to go through this process, um, is it, something that everyone needs to needs to go through. That's the other thing. Why do you do it? You know, I I, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, just you, you don't know. If I, I I think five years ago, I wouldn't have imagined. The things that I do now to try to give back to other people, um, it's it's the right thing to do. I think when you get into the when you get in this environment, you see the things that you're doing for these people. Um, you can't help but know it's right. You got to give back. But she probably had one of the worst homes in this area that you can imagine. Right?